all right guys welcome back so it's been a while since i last made a video it's like so i've been working on uh, a, a little bit of work so but uh, i haven't been posting much just been doing studies by the way the thing is today's video i just wanted to uh, touch upon something important when i was working on some uh on this art piece today as you can see it's now already spoiled kind of like uh, it got spoiled i mean it was giving me an error of course uh i'm not using uh photoshop cc or i'm using cs6 but it was giving me a similar error to this one but of course i can't show you now because i i have first figured out how to fix it and then as I fixed it, then I thought of maybe sharing this video. So it was giving me something like this. In other words, what happened is my, my laptop abruptly shut down. It's been doing this, but for this time when I tried to open the file again, it was saying could not could not complete the request. And on the internet, people are saying uh, back up your files. Those of, for those of you who are using Photoshop CC, and then others are telling you to download software like recovery software but i'm not into downloading recovery software i was going to use this software that i have on my laptop so uh for this to work i needed photoshop of course uh my my file and and uh sketchbook pro so when you're using photoshop and sketchbook pro if you've used sketchbook pro you know that you can save files as uh, TIFFs or PSDs or JPEGs, whatever. So I thought of an idea. I thought since Photoshop is kind of unpredictable, I mean it has more very many frequent errors. I was like, let me try to open it in in Sketchbook Pro first. So what I did, I went to the file location. Okay, so you good? I I went to the file location. And then this this was the file, and then I you right click and then say open with. So you go to Sketchbook Pro. So once it opens in Sketchbook Pro, you just save the file, right? You can you can turn off this layer here because for me what had happened is I think once once the it got corrupted in other words because as you can see now it's not very it's not a very clear image so because of this file here this this file that was acting as my background file uh my background layer was now kind of merged with this uh, image and then it wasn't merged up here and it was causing these weird artifacts so i couldn't see anything so in sketchbook pro i saved it and then i i opened it back again so once you save it in sketchbook pro just just open it in sketchbook pro make a few changes maybe add an empty layer and uh, and then maybe just turn off the background layer or turn change something right and then save it and then go back to the file location and then open with photoshop so once it opens with photoshop you can come here and uh, use the old tactics of recovery in photoshop so for example here you can see that uh, i know that i need this layer here right so i need these layers to be as bright as this so what i did i just added an adjustment layer and i clipped it to affect only the layer of the, of the line work so this is what i'm saying here so when i switch it on it now looks like this it looks weird because i have two layers that are the same so of course i just delete one layer and there it is so i have fully recovered my file just make a few changes in sketchbook pro and then save close sketchbook pro and then open the file in photoshop it will open again and then just make a few changes depending on of course now here i was working with a, a simple line image i don't know if it had various colors i don't know what would have happened but 
yeah i think if you need your files either there is a way you will be able to recover it just like this okay so this is what i had for you today so um i'm going to be bringing out some more videos soon but uh for now uh yeah I'll, I'll be making some more videos also look out for those um there are some more videos in 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 the in progress so just click the like button or subscribe and yeah so that you don't miss out on the next videos coming up all right speak to you soon